New on the News Edge in D.C., a controversial move by the U.S. House of Representatives giving a green light on some hot-button issues, including lifting a ban on the district's medical marijuana law. Fox 5's Laura Evans is here now to explain. Laura. Brian, it's an historic move in the House and a victory for Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton. Congress today voting to allow the district to use city money for the following, to pay for abortions for low-income women, implement a medical marijuana law, and continue a needle exchange program. Back in 1998, D.C. voters approved medical marijuana, but it was blocked when Congress voted to stop D.C. from setting its own drug policies. As for the needle exchange program... A ban on it was removed last year, but Republicans sought to reattach it to the bill. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton says today's vote marks the first time in her memory that no conditions were attached to the spending bill. And tonight she released this statement. She says, we will never make up for the HIV AIDS epidemic that has besieged this city because needle exchange was banned for a decade or make up for the resulting loss of lives. There is no way to make poor women forced to carry pregnancies to term believe that their reproductive choice was guaranteed in the decades during the longest of the bans on using local funds for abortions for poor women. But today we start a new chapter in democracy in the District of Columbia with the first D.C. appropriations in memory free of all undemocratic anti-home rule riders. Now, there is a federal ban on medical marijuana, leaving the decision to implement these kinds of programs up to each state and the district. Fifteen states currently allow medical marijuana. The budget still needs sent, uh, Senate approval, and because the city, of course, Brian, as you know, is under federal control, it requires congressional approval. President Obama is expected to sign the bill into law.